Having charges from your shop showing up as easily recognizable on your customer's bank statements is important. So let's get into how to do that. Okay, right now we are just on the home screen of a Shopify store that I no longer use, but we're gonna go down into the bottom left corner into settings, just click that. Once the settings have opened, we are gonna click into payments. You'll see that is about the fifth one down. Okay, now that the payment section has opened, we are gonna click manage. Now that the new page has loaded, we are gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now we are gonna pay attention to this customer billing statement section. So you'll see this customer statement descriptor. This is what will show up on your customer's bank statement. Make sure this is something that they can read and easily recognize it came from your store. I had some issues with mine where I had changed my business name and so people were getting confused when the old business name was popping up. So my old business name was Thread Maniac Designs and people were seeing Thread Maniac and not having any idea what that was for. So I was getting a few emails and I knew I needed to come in here and change it. It's just something I didn't think about. So one thing to keep in mind is that this can only be 19 characters long. So if you make it too long, an error will pop up. And I'll just show that now. Let's say I fully typed in cross stitching supplies and then I hit save. You'll see this customer statement descriptor is too long, maximum of 19 characters. So I can shorten it again. Just make sure if you change this that you hit the save. See, it, mine's not really changed at the moment, but let's say I could fit this all in, hit the save down here in the bottom right or in the top right, and then it will be changed so that way you have now edited how it will show up on your customer's bank statements from here on forward.